Moin, Gouda. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's Mace, coming to you from Western Canada, Vancouver Island to be precise. Here we go, another Reddit story on our Germany. Positive rant about the weather after moving from America to Germany. Hi, everyone. I'll get to the point. I love it here, and it was the best decision I ever made to move. I'm half German, and was born in Germany, and of a German mother, so I was fortunate in it. Fortunate to have both citizenships. I made the decision to move when I was in the army and stationed in Germany. I promised myself that one day I would move here and stay. It wasn't until about 10 years after I got out of the army that I was able to move, 2016. So, the weather. Why do so many people complain about it? I will admit the sun could shine more, but aside from that, the seasons have a perfect mix of warmth, rain, and cold. I see Instagram reels often of people making fun of the weather here, but I get confused. I moved here from the Midwest, where it's really hot in the summer and really cold in the winter. It's often sunny with a mix of tornadoes. I like that. Often sunny with a mix of tornadoes. That was, that was awesome. I like that turn of phrase. Since moving here, the weather here, at least in Bayern, where I live, is very similar to the Midwest, just less sunshine. I'll admit... As I mentioned earlier, the sun could shine more, but aside from that, the weather is very similar. Oh, and no, very few, anyways, tornadoes. Now, I've noticed that during summer, we'll have a week or two that is 35 plus degrees. Some years are more dry and some are more wet. This is pretty normal. I did have to adjust to having no air conditioning and get used to having multiple fans running in my home. I hate that thin film of sweat that develops on my back. This is interesting post because I feel like sometimes weather as a important piece of where you live is not really talked about that much really when you think about it because it's kind of something that we all are aware of and we all talk about, especially where you live. Like it might be a topic of conversation depending on what the weather's like, if it's raining cats and dogs, if it's snowing a lot or if it's ridiculously hot. There's probably going to be people bringing it up, you know, when you don't have anything to talk about and you got to make small talk. But at the same time, I feel like if you don't like the weather where you live, it's something that you talk about, but you also just get on with it because that's where you were born. That's your place. And you kind of just live there. Uh, I feel like where I live, a lot of people are born and kind of stay here. I don't know. It depends on your trajectory in life. It depends on the type of things that you're interested in. It depends on the type of education that you pursue. Uh, it depends on the people you meet. There's so many different factors and variables that can lead to you moving somewhere else. But I've always lived in British Columbia and I've always lived in the lower mainland of British Columbia. And our weather here, specifically in Vancouver, and there is a subtle difference when you move over to the island, we even get a bit more temperate. However, in recent years, we've definitely seen that extreme polarization of the weather. So you'll get almost 40 degree heat in the summer, uh, sort of similar to what this poster said with having a week or two that is 35 degrees. Well, we have the same. We have a, maybe a week or two that is at that extreme level of heat, but then the rest of the summer is going to be in your, you know, 26 degrees, 27 degrees, up to 29, 30 degrees. Over 30 degrees is usually pretty uh, unregular, unregular. Um, and then in the wintertime, we used to get barely any snow. Some winters, we might get snow 20 times. Some winters, we might get snow four times. Uh, I remember in 1996... We got six feet, six feet of snow. And yeah, it was literally covering, like I could not walk outside because it was taller than my head. So that was interesting. Uh, and talking about air conditioning, we do the same thing here. We have noticed that our place does really well because we have a, basically a shield of trees around our place. So once you get to like noon or one o'clock or at some point in the day, 
the sun begins to be blocked out by these trees, leading to cooler afternoons and evenings, but very warm mornings at our place. Let's continue the post. The perfect day for me is when the sun is out and the weather is good. 18 to 25 degrees. I agree. I really like that temperature. It's not too hot, but the sun is still out. Blue skies, like sunshine, blue skies, and not too hot. Not too hot. Exactly. Warm enough to wear a t-shirt and shorts, but not too warm for a light jacket. Perfect. I like being able to be more fashionable. Anyway, my point is, I think Germany has the perfect mix of seasonal weather. I like that it's gray and rainy sometimes. I like that when the sun does show, everyone comes outside to enjoy it. I am a more kind of spring herbs enjoyer. I really like spring too because you get that crisp air. It starts to get a bit cooler and you're not sweating so badly, right? Nobody likes going outside and being that kind of sweaty, humid, and just disgusting feeling. I love summer. Don't get me wrong. I love it compared to winter. Some people are opposite. I can go jump in the lake in the summer. I can go jump in the river. Like there's alternatives. They say, I love the crisp air. While summer 2024 was a bit different than previous years, more humid than normal. Usually the 35 plus degree weather lasts a couple of weeks and then normalizes around the high 20s. Where I come from, it's always hot during this time. I know this post is all over the place. I apologize for that. My point is, I don't understand the hate for the weather here. I think it's perfect. All right, I got to see in the comments now. Germans, let me know. What are your thoughts on the weather? Do you hate it, but do you continue to live there because you love it? I mean, you love the people, you love the culture, you love... It's where you're from, so it's what you know, and it, it's, to you, the best place ever, right? Everybody... You'll often see people post things like that. I would never live anywhere else. This is just the best place ever to me, right? But that's from your perspective, from your POV. And of course, there's biases there. Mate, you're in the South. Please come up to the North for a while. Then we can have this chat again. <laughs> Meanwhile, 20 plus degrees in Hamburg and 10 in Munich. But yes, in general, I concur. So... Is it a lot colder in the north then is what I'm, it must be, right? In the northern part of Germany, closer to the sea than uh, Bavaria, like Bavaria in the south is going to be a bit warmer is kind of, because he said he lives in Bavaria. Uh, so it's probably uh, quite a bit warmer. There we go. It is the winter that is the hardest part up north. The northern gray raining cold winter with wind that whips up in unimpeded whips in unimpeded from the north sea that's what i was thinking like right closer to the sea right you're gonna have all that moisture and wind and uh cold coming in from the north sea and all the way from the ural mountains in summer up north is rather nice even with the climate change starting to beat us up a bit overall it's nice up here cool i'm irish you should try our weather <laughs> you can still complain about the north germany weather just a little bit less it's because of this special weather pattern going on right now. High pressure in northwestern Europe, low pressure in the southeast, which is responsible for the disastrous, disastrous floodings in southeast central Europe. So climate change is, of course, changing all of our weather. There's people out there that will say climate change is made up. And yeah, you don't really need to discuss climate change with that. Um, you can discuss it, but... It's kind of like a bad faith argument because, number one, unless you're a scientist, a climate a geologist, a climate scientist, you probably don't know what you're talking about. But listen, we're getting so much forest fires here now. It's not even funny. Like, it's crazy what happened in Jasper National Park. We're having just the summers are hotter. They're drier. There's less rain. And yeah, extreme weather events, forest fires they're going to become more prevalent of course as we continue into the future the people are mostly talking about the north of germany when complaining about the weather northern germans come on get me in the comments here come to berlin and face the weather all right that was an interesting post and i think it's uh 
it's an interesting aspect of life that people, wherever you live, wherever you were born, and if you stayed there, you kind of just learn to accept the weather. Like here, it rains. It rains basically six months of the year, maybe eight months of the year. And then the other four months is like summer, like nice. It's like summer and then spring and then eight months of rain and snow. Mostly rain. We don't get very much snow. It used to be seldom we were getting below zero. Nowadays, not so much. We're getting a lot of cold fronts coming down, uh, cold flow. So things are changing. Things are changing. All right. Comments. I demand comments. See you soon. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye.